All right. Yep. Questions? <laughs> Steve, Saturday after the game, Mike, you were, you were up there when, when, uh. when Mike was talking. Um, he said this, talked about the team being soft and, and not playing up to its capability. Um, what, what ran through your head when he was saying that? I, mean, I don't think anything at that point. You know, I was more just frustrated about, you know, that little window where we really lost the game. You know, bad offense led to easy offense for them. I mean, you got to make, you got to run good offense against Tech so they, so you get them playing in the half court, you know, because, you know, when they're playing off turnovers, that's when they're at their best. Um, but it's my job to make sure those guys aren't like that. So, you know, I, I got to do a better job. Was it positive that he said something like that? I mean, did that surprise you that, that he said that? Maybe players hearing it from somebody different than, than No, I don't, I mean, it didn't surprise me. I mean, I don't think it, you know, I don't think that that's a big deal. You know, I mean, we have to play better for longer stretches. You know, we have to execute. I mean, you go watch the tape. If you if you're looking at it from a from a basketball standpoint, you know we're three for fifteen on wide open threes, and um, and so I mean, in Tech, you got to know how to you know you got to know what you're going to get against Tech. You're not going to get a lot of points in the paint. They're going to put five guys in the paint, and so you got to play off drive and kick. You got to make the right decisions. You got to land on two feet. You got to get the get them in rotation to where you're moving the ball, um, and you go back and and watch the tape. And you know, it's frust we had some frustrating possessions, but there's also a majority of the possessions where man, we got to make the right play. You know, we got to keep harping on it to make the right play, make the right decision, and you know, we got to make shots and we and we get you know be more physical around the basket. But you know, that was a frustrating game. We've played well down there. Um, they're elite defensively, but we've played down. We've played well down there. We know how to attack them. Um, but you got to make shots, and then you got to take care of the ball. The 20 turnovers was was killer because, you know, in the stretch they broke the game open. It was all off. It was all off turnovers. Uh, beat a dead horse here of three point shooting. Yep. You mentioned three of 15 of open threes. Has that crossed the line to you of where that's hopeful? Like, hey, we'll just make shots to where that number keeps being not good game after game. You know, you got you, you you chart the quality of the shot. You know, that's why I said I mean, we shot 22, but seven of them were legitimately bad shots early in the shot clock, contested or bad offense to where we end up with a with a late contest three. And so, the other ones, you know, you, you got to make a, a portion of them, or we got to shot fake and drive those and get and, and throw it in the post. Um, but against a team like Tech, if you just, you know, you're gonna get you know, certain things against them, especially the way they play defensively. Um, you know, we got to make the right reads on some things. We got them on some back cuts at times, but you got to keep the floor spaced against them. You really got to cut. You got to move without the ball. You got to get the, get them in rotation, really get the ball moving. You know, I mean, we, we, we understand how to attack them. I mean, we didn't go down there this year and not know how to attack them. And we scored 40 some points and a half last year down there. You know, we scored close to 80 against them here. You know, and so, um, yeah, it is. But you know, you know, we're trying to keep you know our five man lifted so we a lot so we can drive the ball and and and, and get paint touches. Um, it's 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 not as easy to do that against Tech, though. You know what I mean? Because everybody's converging to the paint. Uh, so you got to be strong with the ball. And what you're going to get is you're going to get corner threes and and wing threes. And if those aren't open, then you got to shot fake and drive and really get the ball and, and get them in, in more rotation to where maybe you can drive it on the third side or the fourth side. Um, you know, we made an emphasis to try to go inside, you know, at times. Um, we've had games where we've gotten the free throw line more. Um, but we can't, you know, we, we got to be able to play in transition. We got to continue to get better defensively. And we are in stretches. You know, we, we did a good job. I thought we had tech confused a lot. I mean, if you watched, if you saw the game, you know, with our zone man, man stuff. Um, but again, you have to be efficient offensively down there to attack them. But, you know, I hate telling guys not to shoot open, wide open shots, you know, as a, at this level, you know. Um, but we got, we, 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 we've got to make a point of emphasis of, of driving it when we can, you know, like we did against Oklahoma. We really put pressure on the paint and throw it inside when we can as well. 
to that point, are, is it getting close to where a wide open three doesn't necessarily mean a, a good three for you guys right now? Depending yeah, sometimes, on yeah. Who's taking it? No question. Yeah. yeah. And again, I, you know, I have to do a better job of just addressing that to where I hate taking guys' confidence away offensively. I think we've been, you know, very good offensively, you know, for, for a long period of time. And so I hate doing that. Um, but maybe not, maybe at 12 seconds or eight seconds it's not, but at 23 or 20 it is, you know, because right now we're, 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 we haven't made those. Confidence is obviously a big piece of that, but how big just from an X's and O's standpoint is if you take those wide open corner threes, wing threes that you guys are generating off the board, does that make it just so much easier to guard for teams if they know you're not even going to attempt to shoot them? If yeah, well, yeah. I mean, if you if you watch, I mean, that's that's what I said. It's it's. I mean, against Tech, it's like you know. All right, they're going to switch everything. Okay, it's, uh, most of the time. Okay, so what, how are you going to attack the switch? Okay, you, you try to get inside. We're going to try to spread them out, drive the big. Okay, you know, there's there's a couple of the th you know a couple of things there, but at the end of the day, you know, the way their defense is, they're they're running at the ball. I mean, there's going to be five in the paint, five on the ball. You got to land on two feet. You got to play on two feet. You got to read ball side corner. You know, but you're going to get ball side corner three sometimes, okay? Because they're just shifting in so much, and then you got to play to the weak side corner and the weak side wing. And what you hopefully can get if you're not making that shot is you get them in a bad closeout. So now you shot fake, drive it, and now on this backside, because we showed them so many clips from last year. Now we go to this backside. Now it's a quick post feed. We have the balls going side to side, or it's a drive, and now the floor is a little bit more open because we've got them in rotation, and so. It's sometimes it's those it's those early ones that may not you know let them let them close out let's get a bad close out but I mean if you watch I mean teams are giving us I mean they're they're, they're loading up on this one side and they're giving us all that um, you know so it's it's easier said than done you know from that standpoint you know I mean the two games where we've made shots we've scored ninety two and one hundred and four right I mean what's that. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, I'm just. You're right. I'm just saying. I've just said the games that we made shots. I said that was my quote. Um, you know, I, I got to keep giving these guys confidence. You know, uh, because that's the only way. You know, the one thing people can say, like you're supposed to play hard. Like that's that is shouldn't be a sign of of anything special. I mean, kids should play hard. You know, but when kids are playing with great confidence and swagger. That's that's fun, and so you know that was probably a long. This is a while back, but somebody said one time he's like, "Yeah, you know your team plays hard, but they're supposed to play hard." But man, they play with unbelievable confidence. That's how you want them playing, and so you got to you got to figure out a way. Like I told him yesterday, man, is man, you got to be confident. You got to play with great confidence, uh, but we got to understand what we're looking for too. So where hey, man, throw it inside, throw it to George, throw it to Solo, throw it to Mike on the skip. On the on the on the ball reversal, throw it in there, and then play inside out, and maybe even a better look later in the shot clock. You, I mean, the last three losses over the last two weeks, you mentioned I think specific little areas, specific little time frames, like 14 to 10, that have lost you the game. And obviously that's basketball. A run might be where you can point to, but how do you avoid some of those lulls, and what do you think is creating some of those moments of that you're pointing to specifically in these games? I mean, I thought Tech. You know, I knew the first beginning of the Tech game was going to be tough because this is the first time a majority of these guys had played against Tech. And so it's easier for me, it's easy for me to go up on a, on a film screen and video and show them, hey guys, here's what we did last year. You're going to look to go this, 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 and this. But then when you get out there and there's 15,000 people, whatever it is, sell out crowd and you can't hear and they're pressuring you everywhere, it's going to take some time to get adjusted and figure out, you know, how to get going. So I knew our first four or five minutes may not be perfect down there. We kind of adjusted, settled in. We were defending them well. Uh, the last play of the half, you know, I told them, you know, against Tech now, I, I, I almost don't want to hold for the last shot. You know, if we got a chance to break, because when you hold for the last shot, you let them get set, and then we get a fluke over the back call. Instead of going in down four or two, we go down six. Get it to two to start the half. And then, um, you know, it's from 43-36, that's when the game changed. And I think the stretch where the game changed is, is our half-court defense wasn't as good, made a couple mistakes in our zone. But, man, if you really go look at it, man, our offense got bad. And they did a good job. They're trying to slow us down and keep us off balance. But, man, we didn't run offense with purpose. We didn't keep the floor spaced. We didn't move the ball like we had when we had good possessions, whether we made shots or missed shots. And that turned into, I bet, 
10, 12 points easy against them. And then the game went from 7 to 20, and it's over, you know, on the road like that. Um, Baylor was similar. I mean, first half, we had great opportunities. We missed them. Um, you know, again, Baylor Tech, they play same, similar defensively. Tech a little bit different. Uh, again, you go to Baylor, you're, you're, you're down, what, three? You know, they get the they get the, 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 the fluke play at the end of the half. Now you're down five, or down five at the going in the half, or two, two, five. And then you have the stretch where you start off, it gets to 38 25, and that kind of kind of stays like that. But, you know, we got to be more efficient offensively to not let people get any run outs. Uh, and then we just got to be more dialed in. I mean, I can, we, if I gave the guys a test when we would show video, they make 99s out of 100. You just got to carry it over better. I mean, yeah, it's got to be. I mean, I've got to do a better job of preparing them. You know, I mean, I got to get a better job, you know, reviewing stuff every four minutes. You know, I mean, I got to figure out ways to get them better. I mean, that's all I can do. Uh, that's, that's the only thing I'm thinking about right now is how do I get these guys confident? How do I get these guys back playing better? Because, you know, like, we, you go through the film session before and after, they know all the answers. They, they know. They answer, they get 99s out of 100. And so, um, you got to be mentally tough enough to be able to get down, you know, like Baylor did the other day at Oak State. What were they down, 12? Came back and won. I mean, that's, that's just part of basketball, part of the game. Just because you get up 9 and nothing. Shoot, watch the game last year, Texas Tech here. We're up 8 nothing. You know, Mariel makes, what, 3-3, three, 3-2, three, 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 excuse me, two threes and a, and a jumper. We're up 8 nothing. You know, they end up beating us 80, what, 74, 80, 73. Um, Culver was great, but it had a lot to do with it. But, I mean, you got to be able to weather some storms. You, you mentioned Oklahoma State. They, uh, I mean, I think especially offensively in the first half on Saturday, probably played a little bit better than they had so far this season. What are you seeing yeah. from them on film? Uh, I mean, they had a great preseason. I mean, they've had a really, really good preseason. You look at the wins they had, Syracuse, Ole Miss, um, you know, Houston. I mean, those are three really good wins. But then I also look at their conference schedule to start. You got Texas Tech, who's elite defensively. You got West Virginia, who's elite defensively. You know, it's a road game at TCU that's very good defensively. And so, uh, and then they, they've had Baylor, you know. So they've had a, I mean, our league isn't easy. And so, and they've played really three of the top four defensive teams in our league. And I saw oh, that probably plays a, a factor into it because you know, do I want Lindy Water shooting an open three? No. Do I want Diago uh, shooting an open three? Uh, no, you know, so those guys can obviously make shots and have, have been productive in our league. Uh, Oklahoma State, I mean, obviously their three-point numbers aren't great right now, but I still think that's a critical part of the game because we can't let those guys get going. Uh, what I think Oklahoma State's been consistent in is their defensive, you know, identity. They've been tough, tough-minded, you know, defensive, whether it's man or zone, they've been good. You know, they just struggle to score it late, but – our league's changed this year a little bit. You know, I mean, it's become a really, really defensive, grinded out league. We're fans, we, whomever, you maybe, possibly, putting too much stock in, the, in that these guys would be whatever. 30, you've said 38% three point shooting. I think that's what you've said before you'd like to see. 38 to 40% three point shooters would, in reality, you know, Nixon was 33% the last year he played for Larry. Um, Bolton was 35% last year at, at, at Penn State. Um, are we putting too much um, thought into the fact that these guys are at Iowa State, you know, you recruit solid shooters, good shooters, and they should be shooting better than, than what they are? I mean, we didn't look at their DNA, maybe? I, I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that exactly. Um. You know, I got to give them great confidence. That's all, you know, I got to give them great confidence that I believe in them, that, you know, that they feel good and, and rhythm shots, good shots now. We got to take the tough ones out. We got to take the bad early ones out. We got to take the stagnant ones out. But, man, they, they should have great confidence to shoot open rhythm threes. Um, you know, they're very capable of making them. I've watched it, you know, in workouts and practices, um, you know. Um, you know what? You know you, you can look at all those numbers and and yeah, they're, that's where I want to be. It's where you know you can say it's where we were at, with other kids or other times. But um, 
if that's not it, then we have to do a better job of, like we touched on earlier, of, of getting paint touches. You know, uh, my biggest thing going down the Tech game was paint touches, whether that's to drive and kick or to throw it inside and really and really get them converged. I mean, if you saw, I mean, the times we really finally got it into George in the second half, and this was 15, 14 minutes left in the game, so this game was still really in the balance. We got fouled, you know what I mean? We got good matchups, you know, because they got some guys who are going to really front the post and fight the post hard, but you can get some switches sometimes where you're going to have an advantage, you know what I mean? Because, um, I mean, there's some guys that, that, that you can post up a little bit easier than other guys that's just reality in every team. You mentioned Baylor before and their ability to weather the storm against Oklahoma State. How much of that can come? I mean, that's obviously a team that's got a lot of guys who have played together for a really long time now. How much of that comes with that continuity, the familiarity with each other, and just the experience of playing in the Big 12? For yeah, I mean, experience, continuity, I mean, all that stuff's huge. I mean, you know, you look at some of the teams, obviously there's a lot of teams, you know, you look like Duke that's got a lot of young guys that's obviously really good, but I think it was – you know, everybody's like, you know, about Auburn. You know, I think I saw a stat fly up there. I could be wrong. It's somebody we play. It's like four of their best five, play, five players are seniors, you know. And so, um, you know, experience and continuity, that stuff is obviously huge. You know, when you look at last year of the teams that went to the Final Four, um, you know, you got a lot of seniors, a lot of experience, you know, a lot of continuity. And so, um, you know, but that's, I mean, we've played well at times this year. You know, that the, 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 the Florida A&M TCU week, you know, set us back a little bit, and we got to we got to we got to fight our way out of it. You know, there is no easy week in this league, so you just got to keep you got to be able to keep getting punched and keep trying to figure out ways to punch back. You know, I mean, if you took that week and flipped it the other way, you know, everybody's in a better frame of mind right now, and you're trying to get to 500 in league play, and you're still right in the mix. But you know, as bad as you could have one bad week in this league, but a good week can can change everybody's spirits, and so. We got to stay the course, but we got to figure out ways, obviously, to get better. And you know, I know we talk about shooting and everything, but our defensive numbers still—we just—and I don't know if it's the other night was just so many easy shots because of our turnovers. We shouldn't turn the ball over 20 times. We should be in a, a 10 turnover type team, and it just was just bad decisions.